Let's go now to Will and Kate. Back home this morning after a triumphant trip across North America, the royal couple spent a whirlwind weekend in California. The real story behind the rumors of a sour relationship between William and Kate recently surfaced online following their revealing rather interview with Oprah Winfrey. With Meghan Markle and Prince Harry in the spotlight, attention diverted from Kate Middleton and Prince William. It comes a mental challenge really? between the two of us. Yeah, it's who can out mental Really? Oh, yeah. Allowing them to conceal a significant issue in their marriage. What mysterious secrets have the royal couple been hiding from the public all this time? Join us as we unravel how the truth is finally out about the William and Kate's affair rumors. The Wedding of the Century the wedding of the couple in 2011 is something none of us can forget. It was truly striking. Prince William exchanged vows with Kate Middleton right outside Westminster Abbey in London, in front of an estimated 2 billion people worldwide. The lavish ceremony surpassed everyone's expectations. From the stunning dress and the beautiful ring to the magical kiss, Prince William and Catherine Middleton's union unfolded like a true fairy tale. The event, called the Wedding of the Century, was filled with enchanting moments. First, the handsome groom, adorned in his formal scarlet military uniform, appeared visibly nervous as he arrived at Westminster Abbey alongside his best man, Prince Harry. The inseparable brothers shared an unbreakable bond, standing by each other's side just as they did 15 years earlier at their mother's funeral. As they walked, Harry could be seen asking his brother, are you ready? The Abbey was filled with a star-studded crowd, including Elton John and David and Victoria Beckham, with Victoria donning a navy dress from her collection, along with a matching hat. The streets of London erupted with roaring applause as the stunning Princess Bride, Kate, passed by in a Rolls Royce with extra-large windows. Radiant and graceful, Kate waved proudly to the cheering crowds from the back seat, accompanied by her father, Michael, who beamed with pride by her side. Finally, the moment the world had been waiting for arrived as Catherine Middleton stepped out, looking perfect. Graciously greeting the crowd, she was accompanied by her sister, Pippa, the maid of honor, who elegantly smoothed out her sister's gorgeous gown. Kate's wedding dress left everyone completely amazed, so much so that even while the wedding ceremony was ongoing, designers rushed to create copies. They understood that women worldwide would be eager to recreate the princess's stunning look for their weddings. As Kate gracefully walked down the aisle, tenderly holding her father's hand, her sister Pippa followed, leading a group of adorable bridesmaids and ring bearers. Prince Harry, glancing back at Kate with a smile, whispered to his brother, just wait until you see her. In an interview with Good Morning America's Robin Roberts, Harry's excitement was evident as he eagerly anticipated Kate's arrival. Meanwhile, William, facing forward, couldn't hide his delight at catching the first glimpse of his blushing bride. With a warm smile, he whispered to Kate, You look stunning, babe. Really beautiful. Despite the glory of the ceremony, William managed to maintain his cool, even cracking a joke at the altar, remarking, I just thought it would be a small family affair. Throughout the ceremony, the couple exchanged glances filled with love, affirming their deep affection for each other. As William uttered the words, To my wedded husband, Kate, now officially known as Princess Catherine, beamed with joy. Despite a slight hiccup with the ring being too small, the newlyweds looked relaxed as they left the church hand in hand, greeted by cheers and applause from the crowd. As they emerged from Westminster Abbey, the bells tolled, the crowd erupted in excitement, and the couple, riding in an open carriage along the parade route to Buckingham Palace, radiated happiness. Despite earlier forecasts of storms, the weather held up, adding to the magical atmosphere of the day. It was a historic moment similar to William's parents' wedding more than 30 years ago, with the Queen announcing their new titles as the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. The Untold Story of William and Kate's Early Relationship Before their romantic moment on the deck, the couple faced challenges. They experienced early relationship struggles and rumors about Prince William's affections. Their story didn't begin with love at first sight at St. Andrews. During college, Prince William was drawn to Carly Massey Birch, a fellow student passionate about writing and English. Kate and William were merely friends at the time, with Kate's beauty recognized by many and Carly winning recognitions for her achievements. Their relationship appeared to fluctuate between periods of intensity and calm, leaving its future uncertain. 
William quickly developed strong feelings for Kate, evident to everyone except the press. However, his emotions shifted when Carly, a childhood friend, re-entered the picture, causing William's heart to waver. Despite his previous relationships, William's perception of Kate changed greatly when he saw her grace the stage in a stunning dress. It's now clear that William's feelings for Kate were genuine, even amidst his earlier confusion about love, as he remarked on her beauty. Most people might already know the basics, but what happened next is quite interesting. After the event, William asked out Kate, and they spent hours talking at an after party. Despite his attempt to kiss her, Kate, who was dating another student named Rert Finch, kept her distance. But the relationship soon ended, and William was quick to take advantage of that to get closer to Kate. Kate was also open to starting out anew, and it soon became a bond made in heaven. It became evident that Kate's feelings for William were stronger, leading them to officially become a couple and move into a new place together sooner than anyone could have expected. Unlike his past relationships, William was keen on keeping this one private, even going to lengths to hide their romance. Their romantic games were secret affairs, with carefully timed exits to avoid detection. While the seeds of William and Kate's affection had already sprouted, the prince was hesitant to broadcast his interest. In a surprising revelation during his 21st birthday interview with the Press Association, William shared, My girlfriend changes often. If I genuinely connect with someone and the feeling is mutual, which is rare, I'll invite her out. However, I'm wary of complicating things for potential partners, since many don't grasp the complexities of my life. William expressed frustration, stating, People constantly speculate about every woman I associate with, which becomes tiresome over time. It's even more challenging for them. Prince William and Rose Hanbury Affair Reports of Prince William's rumored involvement with Rose Hanbury surfaced in April 2019, although whispers of infidelity had been circulating long before then. Allegedly, this affair occurred while his wife, Kate Middleton, was pregnant with their third child, Prince Louis, born on April 23, 2018. If these rumors hold true, it implies that a considerable amount of time had elapsed between the alleged affair and its public exposure. In response to the accusations, Prince William reportedly brushed them off when confronted by Kate, indicating there was nothing substantial to them. Despite their public image as an ideal couple, an insider revealed to In Touch that William and Kate faced challenges like any other couple. This incident sheds light on the complexity of relationships, even within the royal family, whose history dates back to the early 2000s. Before the scandal broke out, Rose Hanbury and Kate Middleton appeared to be on good terms. A 2016 article in Hello! magazine portrayed Hanbury as a friend of the Duchess, highlighting that Hanbury and her husband David, the seventh Marquess of Cholmondeley, lived merely three miles away from Kate and William's Norfolk residence, Anmer Hall. Before the alleged affair rumors, the two couples were reportedly close, arranging playdates for their children and attending weddings together. A source revealed to The Sun, William and David's backgrounds are similar while Kate and Rose's lives were at similar points. It seems that Hanbury and the Duchess bonded over shared interests, particularly their love for organic food. Despite Prince William's reported denial of an affair with Rose Hanbury when questioned about the rumors, Kate Middleton took action. The Duchess of Cambridge supposedly instructed her husband to end all association with the Hanbury family. According to sources cited by In Touch, Kate now views their friendship differently. The Sun suggested that the tension between the two women ran deep, with insiders claiming, Kate and Rose have had a significant falling out. While they were once close, that's no longer the case. The source added, William hopes to reconcile them as friends, given their proximity and shared social circle. Um, just the qualities that are um, essential uh, for somebody in a, in a leadership role, I think it's important to... However, Kate has expressed her desire to cut ties with them, despite their social status. In simpler terms, Kate and Rose's friendship has soured, leading Kate to want to distance herself from the Hanbury family, while William tries to maintain peace between them. Following In Touch's revelation of the rumored affair, other media outlets suggested that the royal marriage was facing challenges, yet divorce wasn't on the table. Some people might believe that the couple's decision to stay together indicates either innocence or forgiveness from Middleton's side. Alternatively, others speculate that they remained united due to Queen Elizabeth II's desire to avoid further family scandals. Back in 2006, the Sunday Express reported that, as per a palace aide, the Queen advised her grandson to be cautious in selecting his bride, citing the high number of royal divorces. If this conversation indeed occurred, it likely alluded to the divorce of Prince William's parents
parents, Prince Charles and Princess Diana. Among Queen Elizabeth's children, only Prince Edward has stayed married to his first spouse. Despite Prince William's alleged denial of the rumors, his legal team issued threats, suggesting a desire to protect his reputation. Following the press's disclosure of the alleged affair, a British publication received a cautionary message from a law firm representing the royal family. The warning emphasized that the publication of false speculations not only damaged their reputation, but also violated their privacy rights under Article 8 of the European Convention on Human Rights. According to Duncan Larkham, a former royal editor of The Sun, resorting to legal action by William, a future king, suggests a significant worsening of the situation. These failings, identified by investigative journalists, not only let my mother down, and my family down. If reports of Kate's distancing from Rose are accurate, the severity of their fallout must have been substantial. While the British royal family traditionally avoids direct legal actions, William and Harry seem open to taking unusual steps to address the issue. The strong bond between Prince William and Kate Middleton may have led many to doubt the possibility of infidelity. With a stunning wife and three beautiful children, the prince appeared to be living in a fairy tale. On the other hand, Rose Hanbury's life may not be as idyllic. While Kate and William share a close age in history. Hanbury's husband is significantly older. Their 23-year age gap spans different generations, with Hanbury being a millennial and her husband a boomer. This age difference statistically increases the likelihood of divorce. A source revealed to The Sun that David Cholmondeley, Hanbury's husband, once mentioned while drunk that Rose is aware of the rumors surrounding her and William. Additionally, it appears that Hanbury's marriage lacks the romance it once had, possibly due to the age disparity and differing interests between her and her husband. In June 2019, rumors about Rose Hanbury's alleged affair with Prince William resurfaced when she attended a state banquet with her husband at Buckingham Palace. However, their joint appearance raised eyebrows as Hanbury was not wearing her wedding ring. According to a source quoted in the Daily Mail, there is concern about Hanbury's well-being, as some friends have distanced themselves from her during this challenging time. Additionally, her husband's frequent absences have added to her sense of isolation. While some speculate that Hanbury's marriage may be experiencing difficulties, it's also possible that she simply needed to resize or clean her ring. Before joining Kate Middleton's social circle, Rose Hanbury had a career as a model, signed to Storm, the same agency that launched Kate Moss's career. As reported by Hello Magazine, Hanbury tied the knot in 2009 while expecting her first child. Her husband, David Cholmondeli, was widely regarded as one of England's most eligible bachelors at the time of their marriage. Although Hanbury gained the title of Marchioness through marriage, she already had noble ancestry. According to People magazine, her grandmother was a close friend of Queen Elizabeth II and served as a bridesmaid at the Queen's wedding to Prince Philip in 1947. While Hanbury was not part of the official wedding party at Prince William's marriage to Kate Middleton in 2011, she was reportedly in attendance at the royal ceremony. I think at first they were, they were sort of a bit surprised that it was what happened and uh, then they realized it was... Trials, breakups, and rekindled love. While attending St. Andrews, the prince formed a close bond with Anna Sloan, a wealthy American. They connected deeply through shared experiences of loss. The prince was struggling with the profound grief of losing his mother, Princess Diana, in 1997. Meanwhile, Sloan was coping with her sorrow after her father, George Sloan, a prominent businessman, tragically passed away in a shooting incident at their family estate in Nashville in 2001. Their friendship became a source of solace and understanding amidst their struggles with loss and grief. When Anna invited William and some friends to Texas for a vacation before his trip to Greece, it deeply upset Kate. She felt hurt and wondered if William had feelings for the 22-year-old heiress. By 2003, William was starting to have doubts about Middleton. Wonderful people doing incredible things, as we've all seen. Uh, today. To take a break, he planned a trip to Greece with his male friends. Middleton, too, was uncertain about their relationship. According to Nicole, Kate was starting to wonder if William was fully committed to their relationship, and she had her doubts about their future after St. Andrews. Several things made her question William's commitment, though she hadn't talked to him about it yet. One of these was William's friendship with the American heiress. Ultimately, Middleton and Prince William briefly broke up in 2004, but their separation didn't last very long. They quickly reconciled and got back together. Once again, in 2007, a series of events caused a significant rift between Kate Middleton and Prince
Prince William. Distance was a big factor. Middleton was working in London as a fashion buyer while the Prince was attending the Royal Military Academy in Sandhurst, England. Their relationship became more strained when Prince William missed spending the holidays with Middleton and her family, as well as her 25th birthday the following January. The constant attention from the media, with paparazzi following Middleton relentlessly, added to the pressure. However, the breaking point came when Prince William was photographed behaving inappropriately with another woman and flirting with others at Elements Nightclub in Bournemouth. The future king's behavior at clubs added to the strain in their relationship, leading to their breakup in April of that year. However, instead of staying home and feeling sad about the end of her relationship with one of the UK's most eligible bachelors, Kate decided to go out and enjoy herself, putting herself first for a change. It seemed like Kate was showing Prince William what he was missing, and eventually, he realized it too. I think I'm very lucky I get to see and meet some incredible people all around the world. In June, Kate attended a themed party at Williams Barracks, and by the end of the night, they were back together for good. Three years later, the beloved couple announced their royal engagement, marking the beginning of their journey towards marriage. The Puzzling Love Triangle The exact details of how Prince William and Isabella Calthorpe met remain uncertain, but it's likely they crossed paths within the same social circles. According to reports from the Daily Express, William showed interest in Calthorpe around 2004 when they started spending a lot of time together. Coincidentally, during a break between William and his future wife, Kate Middleton. In her book, William and Harry, Behind the Palace Walls, author Katie Nichol sheds light on the dynamic between William, Calthorpe, and Middleton. Nichol suggests that Calthorpe may have played a role in William and Middleton's 2004 breakup, alleging that William was strongly attracted to Calthorpe. Nichol wrote, he was deeply infatuated with her and wanted to be in a relationship with her. He made advances towards her several times that summer, but despite Calthorpe being single, she turned him down fearing it would harm her reputation and career. The breakup between Prince William and Kate Middleton in 2007 has been a topic of discussion for quite some time. However, for many years, only a select few knew that their split in 2004 was related to Isabella Calthorpe, or perhaps only a few still remember those days. In 2004, Katie Nichol reported in the Mail on Sunday that Middleton and William were undergoing a trial separation, which included a boys-only trip to Greece. This trip, which occurred in the summer of 2004, was the trigger for their initial breakup. Nichol explains that William and six of his friends went sailing, and William had requested an all-female crew, much to Middleton's frustration. Nichols' article describes, He doesn't seem able to see the damage that he is causing. The institution says it's not a constitutional crisis. William had a fantastic time with his friends, enjoying a lot of drinking and fun. He had specifically stated that the trip was to be just for the boys, and Kate was not invited. Despite William's insistence that the trip was only for him and his male friends, a few other acquaintances happened to be in the area that summer. According to a source quoted in the Mail on Sunday at the time, Isabella was very much around that summer. I would even say that William broke up with Kate because he thought he had a chance with Isabella, and Kate was aware of this. When Kate Middleton first met Prince William, she likely understood that being in a relationship with the future king would mean accepting a certain level of attention from other women, whether they were familiar to William or strangers. A piece published by the Daily Mail in 2007 seems to confirm this, with writer Katie Nichol explaining that Middleton endured this attention without voicing any complaints to her boyfriend. However, when it came to Isabella Calthorpe, Middleton reportedly struggled with jealousy and found it difficult to handle rumors suggesting that Calthorpe and William were romantically involved. Nichol described how just hearing Calthorpe's name could cause Middleton to feel anxious, emphasizing Calthorpe's stunning appearance as a factor worsening Middleton's feelings of insecurity. This jealousy reached a peak in 2005 when William spent much of an event engaged in conversation with Calthorpe. The things some of you have done is incredible. I know. It's really amazing. And Mel, where do you stand on the jam? Despite Middleton also being present. According to Nichol, Middleton left the event in a state of anger. Rumors have circulated that Prince William was deeply infatuated with Isabella Calthorpe, to the point of considering leaving Kate Middleton if Calthorpe had reciprocated his feelings. A source close to the couple eventually revealed to the Daily Mail that William was focused on winning Calthorpe's attention, leaving Middleton to wait patiently for his return. The Daily Mail also reported that Calthorpe was one of many women interested in William during that period, and Middleton had to contend with others. However, Middleton managed to maintain friendly relationships with some of William's exes, including Jekka Craig and Arabella Musgrave. A source noted that Middleton seamlessly integrated into William's social circle. 
uh, creates 800,000 new conversations amongst men on mental health. Including his past romantic connections. According to a source interviewed by the Daily Mail, William realized that if he pursued a relationship with Calthorpe that summer, it would mean the end of his relationship with Middleton. Therefore, it probably wasn't unexpected for him when Middleton forbade him from maintaining a friendship with Calthorpe after they got back together. According to the source, William was deeply in love with her, but when he realized they couldn't be together, he returned to Kate. Kate took William back, but only if he promised not to talk to Isabella anymore. Interestingly, Calthorpe received an invitation to a significant event a few years after her alleged fling with Prince William. She was invited to his wedding to Kate Middleton, the shadow of Jekka Craig. Before Prince William proposed to Kate Middleton, the media linked him with several women. This was distressing for Kate, who is now the Duchess of Cambridge. One of these women was Jessica Jekka Craig, a 39-year-old environmentalist and doctoral student. Jekka co-founded Panthera, the world's largest wildcat conservation organization, and Stop Ivory, an NGO working to protect elephants and end the ivory trade. Jekka is often seen as William's first love. They met in 2000 when William stayed at her parents' ranch in Kenya during his gap year. They parted ways when William started university at St. Andrews. Uh, meet a whole range of other different people from um, different countries. Where he later met and started dating Kate. In Anderson's revealing new book, Brothers and Wives Inside the Private Lives of William, Kate, Harry, and Meghan, it's claimed that William continued to spend time with Jekka while he was dating Kate, supposedly just as friends. Shockingly, he even chose to visit Kenya, where Jekka lived, for part of his summer holiday, without inviting Kate to join him. They even went to several weddings of shared friends together during William's relationship with Kate, intentionally leaving Kate off the guest list. Some years back, there were reports about Prince William's 21st birthday party, and it sounded pretty tough for Kate. At that time, Kate and William were supposedly keeping their relationship under wraps, although William publicly claimed he was single. Kate was invited to his party, which seemed fine, but things got awkward when William allegedly spent most of his time next to Jekka, who had flown in from Kenya just for the occasion. Kate wasn't sure if they had a romantic history, but she noticed that Jekka was seated next to William at the main table, while Kate had to toast the prince from a distance. Royal biographer Katie Nichol wrote earlier. I have said, so William, just walk, you just walk towards me, William. Yeah, I walk towards you. Tired of feeling threatened and embarrassed by the constant media attention on his friendship with his ex-girlfriend, Anderson reveals that Kate gave her boyfriend an ultimatum, but he didn't seem to take it seriously. It's easy to forget that William was quite the bachelor back then, and famously avoided commitment. However, he did value his younger brother Harry's advice, who, according to Anderson, urged his stubborn brother to consider Kate's feelings about the situation. It's no surprise that Harry and Kate share a special bond, and this incident only strengthens that belief. Prince Charles also weighed in on his son's refusal to let go of Jekka, drawing from his own experience with love triangles involving Princess Diana and Camilla Parker Bowles. Surprisingly, his advice didn't seem to favor his daughter-in-law initially. The book claims that the Prince of Wales advised his son not to lead both women on, saying, You shouldn't keep both of them hanging, William. It wouldn't be fair to Jekka. We might have expected Harry to say it's unfair to Kate, his real girlfriend, but oh well. Regardless of whose side he was on, everything turned out well for William and Kate. It's hard to picture a world where Kate isn't with William, or a world without Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis. Kate Middleton's journey with William's family. Kate's feud with William's family reportedly involves Isabella, who is said to have been a favorite of Prince Charles and made Kate feel insecure. However, there are other reasons for tension between Kate and William's cousins, Eugenie and Beatrice. Anyone in a relationship aims to get along with their partner's family, but the pressure increases when those relatives are members of the royal family. Reports of coldness between Kate and her husband's cousins only add to the strain. According to an insider from Woman magazine, Beatrice and Eugenie face criticism for their luxurious holidays, lifestyles, and fashion choices, feeling they can't compete with Kate. This frustration is worsened by their perceived mistreatment of their mother, Sarah Ferguson, who was excluded from William and Kate's wedding guest list in 2011. There's lingering bitterness over how Fergie was sidelined by the royals after her divorce from Prince Andrew. Tensions reached a point where even the Queen took notice, expressing concern about the strained relationship among the trio. This tension was further highlighted when William seemingly snubbed them after an event. After nearly four years of dating, Kate and William faced a setback at the end 
end of 2006, when their New Year plans took an unexpected turn. Kate's parents invited William to spend New Year's with them, and he initially accepted. However, William changed his mind, leaving Kate understandably upset. According to Marsha Moody's book, Kate, a biography, William was obligated to spend Christmas with the Queen and the rest of the royal family at Sandringham, as was tradition. Since William and Kate weren't married, she wasn't invited to the Christmas Day service. Consequently, Kate spent the festive season at Jordan Stone House in snowy Scotland with the Middletons, but without William. This separation became a pattern as their time apart continued into 2007. Even on Kate's 25th birthday on January 9th, William was stationed with the Household Cavalry in Dorset, miles away from London. Over the following months, William and Kate spent most of their time apart, as William's duties often kept him away from the city, and Kate on weekends. Every couple faces challenges. The early years should be on par with the other great social challenges and opportunities of our time. Whether they're dating or married, Kate and William are no exception. They're still together and deeply in love. Their children mean the world to them. Despite the occasional bumps in the road, they're committed to each other. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.